Now I'd like to talk about conditional rendering in React. So how we can use one component to display different bits of information based on the values of variables or state or props, anything like that. So I've got a pretty simple page here. Right now what it's doing is I'm rendering a welcome message, another piece of text, and then Mr. and Garrison. These two pieces are both coming from state. So this is coming from state, this is just a regular variable, and then these two pieces of information here are coming from state. I'm going to create a function so when I click on this button I will change pieces of information and then change the page based on that. Okay, so let's jump into our code here. Inside of state I've got four things to find. Message, that's the part that's being displayed inside the h1 tag. Uh, we can change that. Prefix, is being used down here inside of my name is and you can see from this dot state I'm getting prefix so mister and then name garrison both those things coming from state and I've got a variable here that I just declared inside of the render method value is butters and that's what's being written out here so I could change things like this we can say uh, let's take a look at if this dot state dot prefix equals mister then I'm going to change the value of name to be Wendy okay so here's the first thing if we are not inside of the return method we can do logical operators and we can change the values of variables to put inside of here so welcome Wendy is now the message appearing now I'm not doing anything with state here. I'm looking at the values, but I'm not changing state. So I can do this. I can rewrite values of regular variables. I could have taken something from state, put it in here, and then again change the variable, but I'm not changing anything in state. So let's do that. Let's go up inside of this change arama function, and I'm going to change the value of the prefix. So when somebody clicks on the button, I'm going to come up here and I'll say let the prefix my variable is going to be called pre and I will just get the value from this dot state dot prefix okay so I've extracted that from state here's my value and I will now check to see if pre is set to mister I'm going to change that to mrs else I'll switch it back to mister so We'll call this dot set state because that's how we always change state, and the thing called prefix will be in this case. If it's Mister, I'm going to change it to Mrs. If it's not Mister, then it's got to be Mrs. So I'm going to switch it back to Mister. Okay, that's all we're going to do inside of here. We're just toggling the value of this prefix variable. So down inside here, it's just going to change what's written in the page. Pretty simple stroke so far. So as I click on this, you can see the prefix right here is changing between Mr. and Mrs. And because it's changing, it's also changing the value that we're using in our variable here. Okay, this is just changing state, making the element or the component re-render based on the new value of state. Fine. I want to do conditional rendering. So inside the return value, down inside here, how do I render different things? Well, there's a few different ways we can do it. Down inside of here, I can add some curly braces to add some JavaScript. React is just JavaScript. So we can look at the value of something in state or our variable. So we'll say if name equals Wendy, then I'm going to do something else, something else. I can take my JSX in here. Something like that. So just an if statement wrapped inside of the extra set of curly braces so that it's understood as this is something to render. This is actually not going to work. 
React is not going to be happy about doing this. It doesn't like to do if statements. It doesn't like these extra curly braces that I'm putting inside of here. So unexpected token. It doesn't like to do that. So how do we get around this? Well, if you're familiar with the shortcutting in JavaScript, so with logical operators, we can do things like this. Let me just back up a little bit. So I'm saying if name by writing this, I'm just putting a variable inside of here. And if we're not doing anything to this, JavaScript is going to look at this and say, okay, I have something here. Is it true or false? Well, it's not one of the falsy values, so therefore it's true. Then we can add a couple of ampersands like this. So I'm saying if there's a variable called name and this is an object, this is going to render the object. There we go. Welcome, Wendy. Oh, sorry, hello class, right here, this part. So because we have a value here inside this variable, now I can additionally add other conditions on here. So I can say if name is equal to Wendy and the thing that I want to render. So there's hello class. That works. This and this and this, all three things. And inside of JSX, this is being converted into and rendered as an object on the screen. So our expression here is being run and returned as part of the JSX. Now, if I wanted to do something alternate, if I'm going to say, all right, if these two things are true, then I'm doing this. Otherwise, I'm going to render something else. What I would do is I'm just going to wrap this in a set of parentheses like this. And I'll space them out just to make it a little easier for me to read. There we go. So I'm doing all of this is one condition or I'm going to return something else. So the same way that we've got these parentheses here for the return statement, we're doing the same thing here. We're saying this or this. Either all this is true, or we do all this. Now, if the name's not Wendy, this can't all be true. So we can put another part inside of here. We'll say, hello, students. There. As we toggle, you can see that this changes back and forth between class and students. And that is conditional rendering. So if you want to, you'll see very often in examples where something's going to be rendered only under a certain condition. We could add another one in here. Let's say another bit of JavaScript where this dot state dot, oh, I don't know, message. Equals welcome. So if that's true, then I'm going to render a paragraph where it says welcome. That's it. That is conditional rendering. You have some logical operator, some logical condition that you're satisfying. And if that is true, JavaScript shortcutting works, logical shortcutting works in that you can have a whole series of things with and and or conditions between them, and it will read them from left to right. And as long as it keeps finding things that are true, it will keep going through the statement. If this was something else, well, let's double check this first. Here we go. It says, welcome. I'm getting that. Now, if I said goodbye instead of welcome, I don't get that sentence. I don't get the paragraph that says it says welcome because this condition right here is resulting in a false. If this is false, it doesn't matter what comes after the ampersands. It doesn't matter what comes after the and. We only render as long as we keep getting these true values. Okay.
And that's it. That's conditional rendering. That's all it is. This is the way that you would write sort of if statements inside of your code. We don't use if. We use these. And they're basically, we can use ternary operators as well, but this is just a short, easy way to do it. You have your if condition, put an ampersand, and then you can do this. And if you want to have a yes or no, just wrap them inside parentheses like you would inside of an if statement and put your or operator between them. All right, great. So hope that makes sense. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. Uh, if you found it useful, please share it. And as always, thanks for watching.